Hi, this is Rafael Cabrera, leader of the pack with Casita Big Dog Rescue, sponsored by ValuePetSupplies.com. Thank you for watching and thank you for being here today. Today, as you remember, we are going to be visiting Dino. He was one of our candidates. He's a large black lab that we had uh, acquired from Citrus County Animal Shelter. And we had brought him out into the public to get him a little exposure and everything. And uh, we were at Publix and we want to thank, thank Publix again for allowing us to uh, bring our dogs there and to get them some great exposure. We had come across this nice gentleman, his name is Larry, and he had seen Dino, uh, and he fell in love with him. So um, watch how things turn out over here at Dino's house. It's, uh, it's a really good day for him. It's a beautiful day here in sunny Florida. So spay and neuter, continue watching, and let's see how things work out. Thank you. Well, my wife decided that we needed a play person for our yellow lab. And when I saw Dino, in Publix and he shook my hand, my heart melted and I knew I had to have him. Hi Larry, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for welcoming us into your home. This is Larry, he is the proud father of Dino and here we are in their lovely backyard and there is Dino and his sister Daisy. We want to thank you for adopting him. Uh, we met Larry at Publix, like I was saying outside, and uh, it was a chance meeting. He, found, he saw Dino, and uh, Dino sat down for him, and what happened at that point? He shook you, he sh I fell in love. <laughs> Basically, he fell in love with Dino. Dino walked over, shook his hand, and uh, that was pretty much it. Larry had actually wanted Dino that moment. He's like, I want to take him home with me right now. So we wanted to keep him for a little while longer. We came, we did a home check like we normally would do, and uh, as you can see, it's a lovely, wonderful home. Very cordial people, very nice. They actually even made lunch for us today. We had burgers and hot dogs, which was grateful and much appreciated. And anytime we come to your house, have something ready for us also. We love to eat. <coughs> so we're here today to make sure and to see if there was any issues that had come up with Dino. But so far, everything seems to be in perfect order. You know, it's another successful adoption. We're very pleased. The uh, wonderful people that have uh, taken Dino on. We can't thank Larry enough and his lovely wife, Sandy. Um, We've lucked out once again. We want to thank ValuePetSupplies.com for allowing us to be able to save this dog's life and allow us to meet some wonderful people like this. So without no further ado, we're going to have you watch a little bit of the antics of Dino and Daisy. So as you can see, these guys are doing just great. We couldn't be happier. I mean, uh, they, they play a little bit rough. Oh, those growls that you were hearing, I don't know if you could hear them. Um, they're called submissive growls. And that's just what dogs do when they're playing with each other, you know? Um, some people take it the wrong way. Some people take it as, <clears throat> pardon me, as them being um, a little over exuberant. But if Dino gets a little carried away, Daisy will automatically put him in his place. Um, as you can see, they already stopped. They're being very respectful of each other. And Dino's doing just wonderful. He's a good boy. He's my baby. And he loves to run and loves to play and he loves to chase her. And she actually, she likes, actually she likes chasing him. Some dogs like to chase, some dogs like to be chased. He's one of the dogs that likes to be chased. No jump? Good boy. Uh, if you couldn't love that dog, Something's wrong with you. Yes, yes. Uh, I, you know, I got to say for a lot of dogs. I mean, but this guy's got, he's a good-natured dog. He's got a good heart. He's a sweet boy. He's uh, very obedient. You know, he's still young, so he's still got a, lot, a, little, a few kinks to work out. And there are a few dogs that live directly across the yard, and they will have their little activity going on where they'll be doing a little bit of fence fighting. Um, it's not actually fighting. It, it is the fence itself that makes them want to get to each other even more. If the fence wasn't there, they probably would get along just great because he's a very social dog. He doesn't, ha he's, not, he's not aggressive at all. Uh, depending on the other dog's personalities, I have not met them, I don't think it would be an issue. It's good. He's adhering to everything that his owners are asking him to do. That's very important. So we're, we're very grateful that they are responsible pet owners. Uh, the fence is in perfect condition. As you can they maintain it regularly. These are the things you need to do if you are a dog owner. Maintain your, your property, make sure that the dogs can't get out underneath the fence, make sure they can't get over the fence, um, keeping them safe, keeping the neighborhood safe. This is what it's all about. That's what makes you responsible. He is calm. He is very obedient. He has a heart of gold. 
Uh, it's a great feeling. Um, we love every minute of it. Uh, we love everything we do, and it uh, just makes you happy to see him in a good home. We want to thank you, Larry, for being thank the you. person that you are. Thank you. For your hospitality, and thank you for saving Dino's life. Sandy, thank you very much. Thank we you. appreciate everything. You people are the best. So remember, spay and neuter, make a difference, save a life. It's that simple. Thank you. Oh, hello, my baby. Here's my little girl. Hi, my mama. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. This is Rafael Cabrera with Casita Big Dog Rescue, and this is my rescued American Bulldog, Big Love. Thanks to our sponsor, ValuePetSupplies.com, Lug and I are able to save dogs at our shelter. Every purchase you make at ValuePetSupplies.com helps in saving these beautiful dogs from being destroyed. Follow us on Casita Big Dog Rescue YouTube channel. Buy from our sponsor, ValuePetSupplies.com, and you could be part of saving these majestic animals. Save a life, adopt a rescued pet. Right, Big Lug? If you care about your pet's dental care, Greenies is one of the fine products that you can find on ValuePetSupplies.com. They come in various sizes, various formulas. They can help dogs from seniors to a puppy. They love them. We use them here at Casita Big Dog Rescue all the time. You can't say enough about them. If you want further information about Greenies, you can go to our customer service line and they will give you all the information you truly need. Remember to spay and neuter and thank you very much. Welcome back to our show. We are here at Linda and Dell's house. Uh, it's a spectacular home. These are the new owners of Mandy May. Uh, as you know, we had gotten Mandy May from the shelter approximately uh, two months ago. She was a small um, shepherd looking dog. We actually found out that she is an American Dingo. And Mandy May was truly one of the best dogs that we have ever had. She is highly intelligent, highly, you know, very sweet, very lovable great all-around dog. Um, we came across Linda and, and Dell through Sa uh, Sandy and Rick. They are, Rick is the son of Linda and Dell. They live directly across the pasture here. You'll see some footage of the shot and the wonderful at home that they have. They had adopted two dogs from the shelf that we helped them with, um, Catcher and Bear. Uh, you'll see them on another show. So what we're going to do today is we're going to acclimate Mandy to the new dogs and them to Mandy and also Linda and Dell's great grandchildren are going to be here also and we want to see how the dogs are going to be around them. So we're here in general just to do a complete package of acclimating the dogs to each other with the children and we're also going to introduce you to the wonderful, wonderful parents of Mandy May. We're going to go over there in a little while, we're going to get her out. Uh, we couldn't ask for a better home for her. Spacious, lovely, loving people, children next door. It's a great family uh, lifestyle they have. It's a, they're strong. Uh, this is everything that life is about right here. So continue watching. Remember to spay and neuter, and you're going to enjoy the show very much. Thank you. Well, um, Raphael brought Bear and Catcher to my son and daughter-in-laws, and we went down to see them and all. And he, I said, oh, I didn't, I didn't want another dog. We lost our little dog of 15 years, two years ago. So I said, no more dogs, we're too old, so on and so forth. And Raphael looked at me and he says, I think I have just the dog for you. So I, I had told him what kind of a dog I would want. And uh, so he explained the dog to me and I said, well, all right, I've talked to my husband, bring him by. Bring her by and we'll take a look at her and see what, what we think of her. Oh, we, it, we fell in love with her right away. She was so sweet, so, just so good. Good girl. Oh, hello, my baby. Here's my little girl. Hi, my mama. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. As you can see, our, our dogs hate to see us when we come back to visit them. <laughs> this is one of the best dogs we've ever had. Uh, we, it was actually sad to see her go, but on the same note, it was highly enjoyable to know she was coming here. And we're going to go over and we're going to meet. This is Dell. How are you, my friend? Nice Bye. to see you. 
And this is Linda. Hi. And these truly are amazing people. These are the proud owners of Mandy May and Life. Now, we call it two different names. We've called them Maddie May and Mandy May. I call her Mandy because that is the name of my niece, so it sticks in my head. It's easy for me to remember, but I believe you're calling her Maddie. Yes. So it's Maddie May, okay? And that was her name from the shelter. Uh, she's thriving here. She's doing great. Um, how has she been for you? Wonderful. She's, no issues? No issues. I haven't found one issue with her. She's just, well, sometimes she's too smart. <laughs> sometimes she's too smart, yeah. huh? Yeah, she outsmarts us. Yeah, she's a good girl. Excellent. She's, she's a perfect all-around dog. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, I mean, it speaks volumes for the type of dogs that you can get from the shelter. People mm -hmm. are sometimes a little leery of going to the shelter and, uh, you know, getting a dog. They think it's like getting a pig in a poke. But if you do the right thing, you do your homework and, yeah. you, you know, you go through the right sources and ask for help, you can, anybody can own a dog that's as great as Mandy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's very doable. All the dogs, all my life, of all the dogs that I've had, she is the best. Yeah. Well, thank you. She is. I wouldn't trade her for nothing. Wow, that, that's, that's, mm -hmm. thank you very much. That speaks volumes. So, I mean, you're content oh, yeah. in, the, in, in the service that Casita Big Dog Rescue has uh, provided for you with her? Yeah, and I'll tell you, uh, when we got her, you guys had taught her manners already. I mean, she was, she was just so good already that it was, you, you've done at least half of the work. With a very dog. good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm and glad we that appreciate that. Yeah. Well, and we appreciate uh, you saving mm -hmm. her life very much. You know, it takes a mm -hmm. takes a special person to take a you know a dog that's an adult dog and mm -hmm. you know and to take her in. And uh, the fact that we we you know we do put a lot of time into our dogs. Uh, we're very caring, very loving. Um, trust is our biggest factor. Uh, we we put pride in what we do. You know, we mm -hmm. uh, we are very proud and to, uh, very proud to know the people we've come in contact with. These dogs have brought. Um, so much joy to us, not only with themselves, but by introducing us to wonderful people like this. God has truly blessed us by you know, having people like this in the world, looking out for, for dogs like this and for people like us. And, we, and again, this all goes back to valuepetsupplies.com. They've allowed us to do this, and uh, we can't thank them enough. We want to thank all the workers in the warehouse in Tennessee. Everything you guys do <laughs> leads up to saving these dogs' life and making wonderful people like this happy. Um, keep me happy so we want to thank you and bless you for everything that you do there your work is incredible all the people at customer service we want to thank you as well um, we want to thank the peach family we want to thank Doug we want to thank hey, everyone hey. that's involved in saving these dogs life we couldn't have done it without you we thank you so much so Mandy's just enjoying her life here this is a great great day and, uh, and, I, and I say that in every video but it is every time we place one of these dogs it's a great day you know it's a new beginning for them a new beginning for their owners um, you're gonna get a, you're gonna laugh when you get to meet Catcher and Bear. Uh, Catcher is just a pip. He's like a little clown. He's a he's a handsome little white guy. And then you got Bear, his big black knucklehead. Great dogs. And we're hoping that everything's gonna go well with them and Mandy. I don't think there's gonna be any problems at all. So uh, we'll see how it do, it goes. Mm -hmm. Continue watching. Um, how often do you think she, she will be interacting interacting with the other dogs? I hope at least at least two times a week, okay. maybe more. All right. And uh, we plan on letting them run the pasture here together. So, so that pasture directly over there, which is about an acre almost, oh, if not no. more? No, no. It's, six it's, it's six acres, excuse me. Yeah, all together. All together. So they're going to have quite a lot of area to run mm -hmm. around in and knock themselves yeah. silly with. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah. And also, like I said earlier, we're going to be introducing the great-great gran great great grandchildren mm -hmm. Uh, which are visiting at the present time, and um, hopefully things will go well with that. And I don't, I don't foresee a problem because we do pride ourselves on our dogs being child friendly. Um, Bear and Catch, we didn't have a chance to take in per se at Casita. Uh, Mandy directly is one of our Casita dogs, so there's just still a little bit of tweaking that needs to be done with Bear and Catch. They could be a little overzealous at the time, so we're going to go over there and make sure that they do remain calm and um, submissive, and they, they're gonna be good with the children, and good with Maddie, and basically that's it. So again, continue watching. We should be back shortly with a bigger family. This could be you. <laughs> Thank you.
Manly's gonna be the dominant one in this group. It's woman power, you women are very dominant. Us men do submit to you, and that's the same way in the dog world. You know, we think we run the show, but we all know who really runs the show. Valuable Bully Sticks. This is one of the fine products you can find on ValuePetSupplies.com. As you can see, Wolf loves them. Healthy, natural dog chew treats made of free-range beef, chemical-free, healthy, safe, great for teeth and gums. Valuable Bully Sticks. They do come in different shapes and size. Order as much as you want or as little as you want. So one of the fine products you can find on ValuePetSupplies.com. Valuable Bully Sticks. This is Rafael Cabrera with Casita Big Dog Rescue, and this is my rescued American Bulldog, Big Lug. Thanks to our sponsor, ValuePetSupplies.com, Lug and I are able to save dogs at our shelter. Every purchase you make at ValuePetSupplies.com helps in saving these beautiful dogs from being destroyed. Follow us on Casita Big Dog Rescue YouTube channel. Buy from our sponsor, ValuePetSupplies.com, and you could be part of saving these majestic animals. Save a life, adopt a rescued pet. Right, Big Lug? Gonna release one dog at a time and allow them to interact with Maddie Mae, and um, hopefully everything will go well. You know, I can tell by their body language. Uh, we're not gonna allow nothing bad to happen to these dogs, of course. Because our number one priority is always safety first. We would never harm an animal. Uh, we love what we do. We love these animals, and what a lovely family this is. Look at this. Hello, family. How are you? Nice to see everybody. And we have some additions to the family too. And who are these young guys and girls? Jaden and Ken, how are you, my friend? Nice to meet you. Thank you for being here today. Hi, cutie pie. She's like, I don't like him. <laughs> Shh, so I'm not gonna pay no attention to him. How are you? Nice to see you. Wow, I didn't realize you'd be more beautiful without your cowboy hat on, without your cap on. Hi, Linda, how are you? Nice to see you. Thank you for having us on your beautiful home, and uh, these guys are doing good. Hello, Bear. How are you? As a group, we're going to just walk over to that field and we're just going to walk these guys. That's the proper way to introduce dogs. You just don't let them meet face to face. I went over this before um, with, uh, with, uh, with our audience. And um, that's a gunfight. You know, you have two pieces, like two guys coming at each other, ready to go. So what we're going to do is walk them. And that way they can get their scent. And that's how dogs really get to know each other. So we're going to take these two guys, we're going to head over that way, and then we're going to make that walk. All right, everybody ready? And we're just gonna start walking if you wanna bring Catcher. And this is how we introduce him. Now he's pulling to get to her. Shh, leave. And we're just gonna walk. I'm gonna take Catcher for a second because this guy's doing well. And I'm gonna take him from you. And you can take Bear. And I just wanna calm him down a little bit. Shh, hut. Shh. Good boy, much better. So Bear's very interested in her. Uh, he's not showing any signs of wanting to hurt her. His hocks aren't up. She's being fine. Mandy could be a little standoffish. Now I'm watching Mandy's body language. Now her hocks are up a little bit, but her ears are back. Her tail is up. His tail is in a good position. His is slightly up. Now I watched, she, she lifted her lip a little bit, Mandy. Mandy's gonna be the dominant one in this group. She's gonna, she's gonna beat these guys up pretty much. Um, it's woman power. You women are very dominant. Us men do submit to you, and that's the same way in the dog world. You know, we think we run the show, but we all know who really runs the show. And I just get them walking. The purpose of this is dogs can't multitask. They can, they can only do one thing at a time. Uh, not like human beings. Where if they're walking, they're only walking. They can't concentrate on anything else. As you can see, Mandy, Ma Maddie is not going uh, to either one of these guys to introduce herself. So she really basically could care less. It's just another couple of guys, you know? And um, things are going pretty good. He's introducing himself to her right now. This is how dogs shake hands. And it's getting to know you, right? And she's being very good. And this could, you know, this could have turned out to be very bad, but because we're doing it the right way, 
and I'm not letting them stop and giving them a chance to uh, do damage to each other and letting them know that I'm in charge and no one's going to take advantage of that. That was good. Hawks up. Stop it. Hawks up, tails erect, ears are forward, does all signs that she's a little apprehensive. She's letting him know that she's not going to tolerate nothing from him. She's not doing any of the initiative. If he was to be the aggressor towards her, he would turn and he would, she would attack him. See, the, see what I'm talking about? Hawks on the back of the neck between the shoulder blades. They're all up. She's a little apprehensive. She's a little anxious. She does better with humans than she does with dogs. She's not completely ignoring him. That foot up, that people think, oh, my dog's a hunting dog. It's a pointer. No, that is a, called a strike position for a dog. They will do that right before they strike. That's them giving their opponents a warning and letting them know that I'm about to jump on you. It's the same thing a snake would do. You know, they get and they poise themselves. It's the same thing a dog does. But he is picking up on all those signs. And he's not doing anything to try to enhance that. So he's being very respectful of her. And the fact that he's being that way, she could care less. So I'm pretty confident right now that I'm gonna let these two guys off. That's good, this is great. This is perfect. The fact that he's, uh, he, he, he's not really wanting to play. What Bear is looking to do, he wants to go in and control the situation. He's a um, he's calm dog, he's a good dog, but he wants to make sure that nothing's happening unless he's involved in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put M Maddie back on a lead, and I'm going to have him loose, and we're going to walk with her. Bear? Bear? Come. Come on, Bear. Come on, Bear. He's following that leash, which is good. And this is good. He's introducing himself. He's being a little elusive. He's really not um he's really not really paying too much attention to Maddie. No. Back up. Right there, that was a sign that things could have went bad. He froze up, he stopped breathing, his body went forward, she stopped breathing. That was a sign of next step was gonna be a little bit of a battle. The fact that I was able just to say no, they both stopped, that's really good. They're very respectful of human beings. So these two could have issues if, if not addressed properly. Come on. Come on. She's inviting him to follow. She keeps looking back. So far, I like what I see. He's being real respectful of her. Good girl. Good boy. Good babies. Come. Good babies. But she keeps watching him. He's interested in her. This is okay. That's all play right now. Her hocks are starting to go up. This is how it started off with Catcher. He's interested, but he's being respectful. He's not trying to mount her. That's all play. He's going to spin and give her a hip. He wants, he's, that's a, he, he just invited her to come and play. Get, that's what I've been waiting for. He bowed to her. He said, you are the queen. I respect you as well you should. He's very happy to know her. He's again, play, come and play with me, please. That's a done deal. These guys are fine. Very good. Good interaction. Very good interaction. You want to make sure that you take them for a walk first so they get acclimated to each other's scent, they get familiar with each other. Uh, but these guys, uh, due to the fact that um, the family did call and ask for help, which is a great thing, uh, and that goes for any time, anything, if you're ever in any kind of trouble, always seek professional help no matter what it is. I was very impressed the way he handled it and how the dogs reacted to each other. I, I was impressed and I learned a lot. I, I like what I saw. Get to the shelter save a life. These are the dogs you'll find down there. If you have a problem, seek professional help. If there's anything I can do for you, you can contact me at ralph at casitabigdogrescue.com. 
or you can call me at 352-217-9727. Nothing can't be fixed. I am dog's best friend. Spay and neuter, stay responsible, and be good to your family. Thank you for watching.